Hello and welcome to Electricity Frenzy, the channel where we talk about all things electrical. In today's video, we're going to be answering a question that many of you have been asking, is it safe to use an extension cord with your air fryer? And if you have two, how can you use it safely? The short answer is yes, but it depends on several factors such as the wattage of your air fryer, the quality of the extension cord, and how you use it. In this video, we will explain in detail whether or not it's safe to use an extension cord with your air fryer. First off, let's talk about what an extension cord is. An extension cord is a flexible electrical cable with a plug on one end and one or more sockets on the other end. It's designed to extend the reach of an electrical outlet to where you need it. And while they are incredibly useful, they can also be dangerous if not used correctly. Now, let's get to the main question. Is it safe to use an extension cord with your air fryer? The short answer is yes, but with some caveats. Air fryers don't use as much power as other kitchen appliances like ovens or microwaves, so it's usually safe to use an extension cord with them, as long as you follow some basic safety guidelines. Firstly, make sure that the extension cord you use is rated for the wattage of your air fryer. You can find the wattage on the label on the back or bottom of your air fryer, or in the user manual. If you're not sure which extension cord to use, it's always better to err on the side of caution and use a heavier duty cord than you think you need. Secondly, make sure that the extension cord is in good condition. Check for any frayed wires, cracks, or other damage. If you find any damage, don't use the cord, it's not worth the risk. Instead, replace it with a new one. Thirdly, make sure that the extension cord is properly plugged in. Make sure the plug is inserted all the way into the outlet and that there are no loose connections. Loose connections can cause heat buildup, which can be a fire hazard. Finally, don't use an extension cord as a permanent solution. Extension cords are meant to be a temporary fix. If you find that you're using one all the time, consider having an electrician install a new outlet closer to where you need it. Now, let's talk about how to use an extension cord safely with your air fryer. Firstly, Using a high-quality extension cord is essential to ensure safe usage of your air fryer. An extension cord that is made of durable materials and has a grounded plug can prevent electrical shocks and fire hazards. It is also important to use an extension cord that is rated for the wattage of your air fryer to prevent overheating. Additionally, purchasing an extension cord from a reputable company that meets safety standards can provide peace of mind and minimize the risk of potential hazards. When using an extension cord with your air fryer, Always make sure to inspect the cord for any signs of wear and tear before use and avoid using damaged cords. By using a high-quality extension cord and following the safety guidelines, you can enjoy your air fryer with peace of mind knowing that you are using it safely. Also, make sure that the cord is fully extended and not coiled up. Coiled cords can cause heat buildup, which can be a fire hazard. Secondly, don't run the cord under carpets or furniture, this can also cause heat buildup. Instead, run the cord along the baseboard or around the perimeter of the room. And finally, make sure that the cord is not pinched or twisted. Pinched or twisted cords can also cause heat buildup, which can be dangerous. So there you have it, using an extension cord with your air fryer can be safe, as long as you follow some basic safety guidelines. Make sure you use the right cord for the job, make sure it's in good condition, and don't use it as a permanent solution. And remember to always use common sense when it comes to electrical safety. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on all things electrical. See you in the next one.